Oh, interesting. So they go Enchantress with their final pick. Almost ideal target now with an Untouchable. Middle lane, they're going for Death Prophet. It's going to be stopped though. Cinder, and he's the one that's in trouble now. Spin from Adur on top of Jerix. This whole time Jerix goes for the TP out. It's not going to work out though. They did get the first blood though. Just before, but now Madar running after Mad. Of course, the arm let the more ready to go earlier on build. S4 top lane, Madara's rotating in. S4 living for a while, but it wasn't going to happen in the end. So the rotation from Juggernaut gets that kill. Now they know he's not middle lane. They're going to take advantage of that. They're going for Cinder and Cinder with the shackle on a Death Prophet, living as long as possible. Almost gets the turn kill on a Jerex. Dara does have his Omni Slash now. They want to go for this. There's only one creep left. Oh, but the positioning of Mad is successful. He's going to be able to run away. No, going for it with the audience. That's over for some crits. He gets the kill in the end. Madara now. Can he run out? What a die from Madara right there. He did the math and he was correct. Koikba doing the math incorrectly. He misses his avalanche, but it doesn't matter. He has plenty of team support. Getting him some levels again. They, they would love for him to get level 6 ASAP. Goes without saying. Black hole top lane. They're going to hit Tiny. And man, if that avalanche hits Enigma, you got to wonder what happens. Koikba just standing still. He, he's, he knows that he's dead. Assassin though, Vendetta active. Smoke is gonna pop right there, they know they're in the area. And here we go, Jarek's gonna jump in just on a quick though, he's running back. Meanwhile, Buri who you opens up on a C6 right there, out comes the Kiana Coffee though, and Cinder and Kisses Roster Wars down before he dies after the fact. Jarek looks like he's ticking down, but so is Buri, the exorcism, scaring off the dire team for now. And again, Madlands is gonna go full retreat mode. Obviously, your experience, his farm is, is struggling quite a bit, so you can't expect that anytime soon. So when it comes to these infest bombs from Life's Two, they're not necessarily setting up to be the greatest. So he's gonna jump on a quick foot right here. He has to be careful going too deep though. Take us a good damage in return with some impetus attacks. Nyx Assassin. Voids the barrel roll. That's a impale stun at least with the spiked gear base. Forest staff, a little bit awkward with the angle, and he goes down to the end. Obviously, that that really doesn't mean much in the end. It's just more of it's gonna be about execution. Life Stealer. Oh my god, he's by himself. He's gonna man up on a Cinderin, but no tells the one that. Okay, well, maybe he doesn't have to be careful because he does have Earth Spirit nearby, and there's more support in the backlines of Cataca offering. It stops a TP on Juggernaut, and this is gonna work out beautifully for OG. And and he had Life Stealer all the way down at fifth in the game of net worth, and he's been sitting a lot in Earth Spirit because of that. Warrant that. As Jerex is going pretty deep here, Exorcism committed. Dire team, what do they do? I see Juggernaut pushing bottom lane still. Juggernaut's gonna force a reaction from the Radiant side. And now OG has a decision to make. Do they continue going? Send at least one or two back or what? Mad still charging in. Aeon Disc is going to be proc'd right there. Doesn't have it now. Boykba sitting patiently. Meanwhile, bottom tower. Tickets a good damage. S4 coming in though. Madara turning on an S4. Does he go for the Omni Slash? No, not just yet. He's backing him out. The Black Hole's going to miss though. Madara, what a reaction. Turning around with the spin. Back over here. Kenneth Coffin coming out though. And Koikfo will fall. Center and puts down the wards. He gets taken out shortly after. Kizu, the upheaval, gets forced after way. He'll survive. Madara TP and in. That Chaotic Offering though, doing a work from OG. And now Jerax, they're going to chase after Enchantress. They catch up in. The Spirit Side been helping to finish him off. He doesn't have a buyback. Madara has to spin away. Tiny, obviously no buyback as well. OG is somehow winning this fight in the long run. Madara getting away and running all the way towards the top lane. No Tails running after him. Does he have a buyback himself? He has to man fight right here. It might not work. Omni Slash bouncing around so many targets. Madara goes down. He does have a buyback. So as beautiful as a, as a juke that was from Madara getting away, avoiding the black hole. OG still wins the fight up at the base of the Dire team, and no buyback specifically on Tiny is going to allow them to freely get the racks right here, it looks like. Nyx Assassin buys back with just a Rasta. What do you do, though? Nyx Assassin forced to have almost got caught in a bad spot. This is easy racks, though, in favor of OG. Wasting if you don't have to, but at this point, he might have to. Is Exorcism ready? It is. In fact, Matt's pushing bottom lane during this. Chaotic Offering's also ready. And that, that goes back to the credit of OG, how, yes, this is a very wombo combo heavy team, but they've also been doing a good job of not over committing every ultimate, every fight. Uh, using what's necessary. S4 putting on the Midnight Pulse. Out comes the Chaotic Offering on three heroes. So Nyx is to get picked up. There's a buyback on Juggernaut. He uh, jumps around with the Omni Slash onto the supports in the back lines. He does kill both, and now he's sitting on top of S4. Meanwhile, though, Keizu running away with the Untouchable. The Spirit Siphon draining his life away. The Nature's Attendant's not going to be enough of a heal. He does go down. Madara pops his Mantis style on the run. He's trying to be a distraction right now. This would be a dieback, remember, and OG knows this. Malphus stun. From S4, yes, he gets it off that cooldown reduction, man. It's only a 9.5625 second cooldown. And now Madara, he's dead. That's a dieback. 
Derex, he misses initiation here. The Omni Slash going off, and S4 actually takes a good damage to Black Hole, though, in response. And Juggernaut once again locked down solo by with a minute. He pulls down Life Dealer, beating Dim down as well. 75 seconds, no buyback for the Juggernaut. Shadow Shaman, he's going to be engaged on now. The Exorcism helping to take him out. He's dead for 45. Where's Koikva? Koikva's over here, dealing with Life Stealer. It just attacks. Life Stealer turns his attention to Keizu now. Koikva thinking about going back in. Not much mana to work with, though, and the Spirit Siphon on him. With that Exorcism presence, he has to keep on running. No-Tell managing to barely stay alive right here. Healing up enough. Keizu's gonna end up falling, and No-Tell survives throughout it all. Great Armlet Toggle's also coming out. Furyu's gonna end up falling to the Exorcism. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Tower goes down. There's initiation on a mad, but mad. Not an easy target. On this pop. <clears throat> He'll be fine. Koikva. Does he die this time? No, he does not. He continues to run. Down goes the Rax, though. Back on a mad. Aeon Disc obviously on cooldown. Dara does not have an Omni Slash, but he's going to go in for some auto attacks. Out comes the Chaotic Offering, though. Going to keep Mad alive. Shackles long range on a Life Stealer. Mad still surviving some way, somehow. Forced to have it away. Gets the blink off. He'll be fine. Meanwhile, in the back line, Cinderin goes down to Life Stealer. Life Stealer being an issue. Furrier also picked off. Have a spread fight coming out here. Fly at least may get taken out by Mad Lads, but now Madara. His Omni Slash is back up, ready to go. Bounce between the Chaotic Offering and Life Dealer, who goes for the Infest, actually mitigating plenty of damage. Madar comes out spinning. Koikva, running the other direction, throws out an Avalanche. The Rage prevents it, though. Madara does get taken out by Mad in the end, playing that Death Prophet. Jerax looking to get Koikva. Koikva again manages to live, and he takes out the Death Prophet. 1,100 bounty gold for him, actually. Can he somehow get out of this one? Oh my god, it doesn't look like it. Koikva, he tosses him away, though. He's gonna be fine for now. How is this guy still alive? Holy crap. But then you look at the base and the Mega Creeps have spawned and GG well played. So a great individual effort there. A bad end. Sick. The unique hero, so. That is bottom lane. No Tail's actually being run at here. This could be a kill. Nightmare set up. Madara with that tree. Yep, a couple of hits. Throws the log and not sure where to be. Feels bad, man. Like, Burry's just like, all right, well, I'm done with this side of the river. Let me go check the other side. You know, it's like he's on vacation in Cabo or something. Not Cabo, oh. Puerto Rico or something. Well, Cinderin found a place. Bottom lane to kill Lycan. Lycan was a little too far up. Back over here, though, Bane. Trying to deal with this spirit siphon, and the brain sap will help him do so. He's going to be fine for now, and Mad's going really deep, but Abaddon's here as well. He is level 6, by the way. No borrow time just yet. That hasn't leveled it up just yet. As the Aphotic Shield. Death Prophet pulls him out of the lasso. Jerex. Kill this. Turn around with a snowball. Go back into Koikva. Matt is healing up with a spirit siphon. Barely alive for the time. Another Fox Shield comes out. Down goes Tusk, though. As he went in. Can they keep Death Prophet alive? It looks like. It's a very close back and forth there. Blink. But Keizu, by the way, the nice shard block initially. They want to go further. Snowball in with S4. Already using that Mist Coil level 2. If Fox Shield level 4 applied. That exposed with sight, that should be a kill. Looks like it's gonna be the case, and he has the auto attack to finish the job. And now Cinderin, he has That's to be sharp. careful. The shard block on him with a cursed crown. Cinderin, no doubt, gonna be dying right here. Like credit for the kill on him. They're diving to second tier tower easily. Back to the middle lane, though. Spirit Siphon's up from Mad on Buryu. He's trying to live against this Viper Strike of Quickva. Gonna be surviving for now because of the snowball in. Buryu getting low as well. They do kill Mad. They're gonna kill Buryu in return. The Orb of Venom. There, Leech XP. Like, just don't, just don't mess with them. Um, but this tiny is weak and can be pressured, even though DP is like 1k net width behind. Yeah. Middle Maybe lane, got a the big Bramble guy. Maze connects on a quick button. They're just going to right click him down, like an expert at that, of course, in the shapeshift form. So, good yep. Bramble Maze. Yep, they can do that every time. Like, as soon as they catch somebody alone, they can just run at him. Uh, Tusk, Lycan, Abad, and they commit super hard. And there's no real risk because the turnaround potential for Mad Lads, like, isn't there. There's no real team fight spell that they fear on OG when they die. Madara, Avalanche in, hits that's four. He has a borrowed time, remember. Aphotic Shield gonna keep him alive for the time being. Aphotic, er, it does explode, and there's that borrowed time. They lasso on it, him on in. They want to kill about it after the fact. The Ice Blast going through. S4, another shield, though. He's fine for now. Juan, 17 charges. He should be able to survive this. Ail. Oh, he didn't and pop. Not gonna be enough damage. He pops a one, and he's gonna heal up, be fine for now. Keizu, the Shadow Realm auto attack, secures a kill on him. And now Madara, he's trapped between the Ice Shards and the Bramble Maze. That is a tough trap to oh. deal with. And now the Bottom curse crap goes top down, though. Man. He's gripped under tower. He goes down. Bottom lane. He should not be there, but okay. Where is this now? Cinderin is actually being run down by Tusk. So, yeah, you mentioned Death Prophet dies yeah. to the bottom tower during that. Yeah. 
There you go. Answer's coming. Viper, by the way, another hero that could definitely change up his build quite a bit. And he's going to go the four staff into a hurricane pack eventually. Back to the top lane. Bane, they're running at him once again. The good old strategy of right click him down. But no tell does. Gift. That with the Bramble Maze. Yeah, that, that, that's actually a pretty good synergy. Yep. More importantly, they force TPs, and now they run straight at middle. They know that at most, this is only a Viper. He'll have to cancel TP. And just like that, they secure top lane all the way to tier three. It, it, it's a different game. Oh, team fight. Maybe. Nah, Keizu, I don't, uh, this almost seems dangerous for Keizu, honestly, but actually the top lane, there is a fight breaking out. Tusk does go down, now Death Prophet has to run, so Keizu does kill Fly. So it works out pretty well for Matlat so far. Two for nothing. Oh, Matt turned around. Those the Yules up. They're running after him, but here we go. No tells. Like, now's my time. Right clicks come in with Dara realizing he's running. Koi Fuss Spirit siphon on him. The exorcism committed for this as well. OG wants a big fight. They're gonna get maybe something out of it. On a Viper, it looks like off to the side of the left. Cinderin cannot TP out in time. Yep. And Viper is run down distance. So fallen. Outer Tower is pretty much a lost cause if you're Mad Lads here. The base though, different story. Want to defend that top lane. Keizu thought he had a lasso. He gets lifted up though with the yields, and now Keizu's in trouble. The Bramble Maze, the Kirk's Crown. He will fall, and he does have a buyback. No lasso, however. That's going to be key. S4 running at them, and so is like. And Cinderin's going to be beat down because of that Madara just avalanche toss combo. But S4 borrowed time. He's not going to heal much from it though. The tree toss, the Photic Shield will negate that, and he'll survive for now. Remember, he has the Aegis worst case right here. For him, Shape Shift is out the big avalanche initiation. They do kill the oh, Abaddon, but now Madara gets thrown on by the snowball. He is dead with no buyback. Bane locked down in the backgrounds. Just gonna put the sleep on a Death Prophet. Mad just running at the whole team with it. Exorcism still active. Although it is wearing off here now, so. No more ultimates for the Radiant side. So uh, this potentially is the beginning of uh well, I don't want to say the end just yet, but OG. And with that buyback, that actually is gonna be a cute of fallback, it looks like. Ten seconds for Tiny to resurrect. S4 again still has the Aegis. He actually has another borrowed. Oh no, he did use the Aegis. Yeah, he, he does have a borrowed time though. There's a BKB on Death Prophet, a pipe on Lycan. So th those are items that change the fights. And right now, Mad Lads have not itemized for team fighting whatsoever. And well, we'll see what happens. Here it comes, I guess. Bramble Maze, Maze put on down. Three. That's going to stop them quite a bit. And actually, the fear on a tiny on top of that. They do kill Keizu in the midst of it. And another. Kill on Koikva, very likely going to be happening. Yep, the OG just clearly showing off their net worth lead there, if anything. It's completely jumped Mad Lads off guard. Madara turns and kills Tusk, but probably going to be at a cost for him. Might as well take somebody yeah. with him, I guess. And they're going to take out the melee shortly after. The range racks, perhaps. But here comes Viper TPing in. Batrider's also now up. Madara wants to keep them nearby for now. Jarek Snowball going to keep it alive at the time being. Spirit Siphon again oh, no. forced half away from Madara. But that Snowball's going deep. The Walrus Punch to secure the kill. Die back on a tiny. Is official. We see the Terrorize activated as well. That'll die for the team. But yeah, this is GG. There's Mega Creeps. And OG looking very good to make it 2-0 here in this best of five series, and there we go, it's official. GG well played, it's called OG. And it's not over yet, but best of five. They're up 2-0. You can play as best as you can, and it still could be difficult. Phoenix. Phantom Lancer versus the Leshrac in the middle lane, meanwhile, is the matchup. So we have action in all three lanes. Look at the top right now, this could definitely be the first play, Phoenix. As the Icarus dive, gonna take the snowball into Jerax right there. They want this kill first, the Icarus dive away, and they do kill the Earth Spirit. Phoenix L the dot will take him down. Top lane, Jerax. He can still fly here though. Watching that up here. Tusk is going for the four minute bounty ruin. Jerax is probably gonna fall right here. Almost trying to get himself killed by neutral. It's not gonna happen though, but now Viper is running in Phoenix. Snowball saving initially. Towards the creeps. He does not have that Icarus uh -oh. dive though. I'm watching bottom in the meantime. <laughs> yeah, he goes down. Yeah, bottom lane, Nightmare on a no-tail. Taken off immediately by Warlock, though. Cinderin putting an auto attacks on him now. And there's the toss to try to finish the job. They take him out. Good vision being kept. Net, netting no-tail, though. He pops purification. Not only will live, but Cinderin gets caught oh, by the man. split. I, uh, in the final Cinderin, Cinderin and Koifa could have killed both. I don't know. You tell me. I, I'm not sure which I would go here. Bottom lane, I'm, Cinderin. S4 is, he's all over the place. He's top, he's middle, he's bottom, getting kills. Back to the top lane, speaking of that, Keizu. Standing his ground against the Viper. They're gonna hold in with a snowball. Koifa is here as well. S4 though, guess what? Now he's at the top lane. He pops the pulse snowball. They're just ticking down like crazy. And Koifa, not much he can do except just accept death. Yeah. Great hero blocking from Fly as well. S4 is absolutely carrying right now. 5-0-3.
on him. So we mentioned Koikfo played a great tiny the first game in the losing effort for Mad Lads, but definitely they could use that again. To say that though, net worth, this is looking so good for OG. And now top lane Viper running after him once again. Keizu does have a supernova. We'll see if that comes into play or not. Man, continuing to run. Level 3 Grosso skin, barely keeping alive. Daddy No Tills coming in for the purification. Healy at the last second, puts a rappel up. Here's a Guardian Angel, and here comes a turn, baby. Supernova, not gonna matter. They kill it pretty quickly. As Tusk goes down, and now Madara, can he get away? No doppelganger, 15 seconds. The Tusk shard block is not going to be successful. They run him down in the end. Didn't even see him, but he TP to the tier one tower. Oh, six sleep by Puryu. They're going to find S4 here. They needed that sort right. of kill. That's, that's the beginning here. of a comeback. That's how it starts, at least. Big bounty kill, but Bane, in response, he's probably dead. In fact, now Koikva is also in a bad spot. Here comes Keizu though, Supernova in the distance, Viper focus firing, they just kill the egg immediately. Out comes the Chaotic Offering as well, Tiny's gonna die most likely. The Boulder Smash going through, almost connected on Tusk even. Yep. Uh -huh. No Tails going Radiance on the Omni. The last game was, you know, Drums uh, Radiance on the uh, S4 Abad, now it's the No Tail Omni Knight, but it's just so interesting watching. There's, there seems to be so many similarities between what OG is doing and what EG is doing. And um, they're executing it in different ways. They have different preferred heroes, you know. S4 is playing Leshrac instead of Pugna like Sumel would, but um, it's just it's just really interesting to watch. I think they're playing really well. Omni Knight putting the repel on himself in the back lines. Koikpa gonna jump in the Guardian Angel though, preventing any kill on a Jerex, at least for the time being. Bury rolls in, chaotic offering response, Koikpa. Gonna start taking away Sunray off to the side, maybe trying to finish off Mad, and they will do that with Madara running after him. So numbers-wise, actually, so far a successful fight for Mad Lads. The Fusel, as we mentioned, pushing out top lane. Probably needs to get back though, as they're already in the base. A toss on S4, toss them into the midst of a fight here. But Omni Knight nearby. Guardian Angel is ready to need be. Doesn't even need it just yet, though. Repels put up instead. Bane buys back immediately. The split of catches a couple, including Phoenix. Quick fast to make his way back to base. So far, Bane or Phantom Lancer is not back. He is still pushing that top lane. Wants the tier two tower. Trying to make the best of it, but will he come back? Now is the question, because now your racks are starting to go down. Well, they have and no they still have a ten. Doing on respawn. I mean, this is dead rack. Still have Golem up. They, yeah, they can't. They have a Radiance on Omni Knight. Like, how do you fight True. into this right now? Viper, gonna get that rappel. Yeah, Madaris, he's still up here. And you know what? This is actually okay for Mad yeah. Lads. He might get this the tier good. three. They want to keep stalling here if they can. Oh, geez, going back in. They catch Tiny. They're gonna lose top tier three. Has it here right there in No Tail. He has to TP out. No, he's gonna be stopped though. That's a very ambitious TP there. And so he doesn't have one now. Madara's still going in. He's going to kill the range tracks at this rate. What is happening? Buryu goes down. Barely need the next tier item just yet. There, actually, he's looking for his position. I mentioned earlier, no gem, but no, actually, Air Spirit does have a gem. On Fiend's group lockdown on S4. There's a support, though, with the Repel Supernova in the front line. It's probably going to be killed off pretty quickly, though, it looks like. You know what, Mike? Get off. No, he does explode at the last second. GA used a response from Omni Knight. Buyback on Tusk. Has he died as well? Koikfa, though, he's going to have to buy back. As he just gets ran out here between the Viper and the Leshrac. Cinderin, Nightmare, saves the life for now. But three buybacks already used. So clearly OG winning this fight so far. Viper did to go too far. The Repel's put up, barely saving it for the time being, and it's going to keep him alive in just a little bit now. Nether Toxin put down as he dies, but now Phantom Lancer oh, caught in that Tusk dead as well. And down goes Phoenix right there. So Arm Knight dead with the Viper. On OG's side, but S4, he is still a freaking beast. That Pulse Nova ticking down with the Tide Ball Kitty. He has 24 charges on the Bloodstone. He gets a triple kill out of nowhere, it feels like. 27 charges on the Bloodstone. BKB active. Mid lane, no tail, yep. just warring with the PL. <laughs> Keeping him busy. Another Supernova attempt. This one could get off. Yeah, oh, no. So close. That really That's was. GG. There you go. It's official. OG going to the MDL Major. They qualify for the 3-0 victory over Mad Lads. Congratulations to them.